how is the mood in the Supreme Court now? I mean, you, you've been bypassed for the third time, and I think that's, that's the, that will be the last time. You will be retiring around the same time that Judge Chief Justice Bersamin will be retiring. How, how do you feel about it? Well, uh, I think it's the prerogative of the president mm -hmm. to appoint anyone in the list of the JBC, and that's according to the Constitution. I am a student of the Constitution. I cannot complain. I have to accept it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But sir, was it something you expected? Uh, of course, we, if we if we look back uh, uh, at first, uh, you you said you don't you uh, you uh, you rejected the nomination uh, earlier on, and then uh, with the second round uh, after the retirement of uh, Chief Justice De Castro, you accepted the nomination. So, uh, in hindsight, was it something that uh, that surprised you? Well, uh, because I. I, I, I will accept any decision of the yes, president sir. because it's a prerogative. It's so, his prerogative. Uh, I have to accept it. I mean, it didn't really come as a big surprise to me uh, because uh, I have taken a position different from his position in the West Philippine Sea. Mm -hmm. But of course, so my name was there and it's possible it could have been appointed. But I mean, I was not starry-eyed about being appointed. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way of putting it. Not starry-eyed about uh, being appointed. Uh, you're retiring, uh, I think, next year. Uh, yes, uh, October, October of next year. Mm -mm. Um, is it too early to ask you uh, what your plans are? Well, or? I will continue with my advocacy on the West Philippine Sea for sure.